listening from London. UK energy sector bosses will take part in crisis talks with Chancellor Nadim Zahawi and Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng as the price caps were forecast to hit more than £4,200 in January. The meeting comes amid widespread anger targeted towards Shell, BP and British gas owner Centrica as they announced bumper financial results while households struggle to cope with soaring bills. According to reports, no major government announcements on money will be made before the new Prime Minister takes office next month. China's headline consumer inflation rate surged to its fastest pace in two years in July, driven by soaring pork prices. According to data published by the National Bureau of Statistics, CPI rose 2.7% from a year earlier, up from a 2.5% increase in June. Beijing has set an annual consumer inflation target of around 3%, while the government says it is confident it would be able to keep the 2022 price rise under 3.5% in a bid to stabilise prices and employment. Elon Musk has sold 6.9 billion US dollars worth of Tesla shares to avoid what he said was an emergency sale should Twitter succeed in forcing him to close the $44 billion takeover. The world's richest man is currently embroiled in a legal battle with the social media platform after announcing last month that he would be pulling out of the deal to buy it. Twitter is suing him to enforce the sale and the case is headed to the court in October. Over the past 12 months, the SpaceX box has cashed out an estimated $32 billion worth of shares in the electric vehicle maker, including $8.5 billion in April. In more Twitter news, a former manager accused of spying for Saudi Arabia has been convicted in San Francisco on six criminal counts, which include acting as an agent for Riyadh and trying to disguise a payment from an official tied to the Saudi royal family. U.S. resident Ahmad Abu Amo worked on media partnerships in the Middle East for the social media platform between 2014 and 2015. According to the prosecution, he was approached by Saudi government officials and offered cash and luxury goods for his cooperation collecting personal information on Twitter users of interest. The 44-year-old is facing up to 20 years in prison. Those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.